Hello and welcome to Story Retold. I'm Kalina and I'm, I've got my little buddy player four here. This is Benjamin. He's got a frowny face because it's so bright. So I'm going to cover him up just a little bit with his cloth to block some of the light. He can still breathe. I promise I'm just going to tuck this in right here. And today we are playing one of my childhood nostalgic games. Uh, I've always called it Hugo's Haunted House, but I guess it's called Hugo's Horrific Adventure. The correct title is the title of this video here, uh, so we'll, I'll correct myself later. But I just wanted to share one thing. Uh, we're gearing up for Halloween. We bought some decorations for the house, and I found this. I really wanted a gargoyle of some sort to decorate just some place in my house. But I have a two-year-old, and I don't want to creep him out too much. So this is what I got, his favorite animal. Look at this, isn't this adorable? It's a cat. See, I'm looking to my, off to the side over here so I can see what it looks like in the camera for you. But this is a cat gargoyle. It's got a scruffy beard neck, and this is heavy duty. This is a really legit piece. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but there's an Amazon link down below in the description if you want to help support me. But I love this thing. I was more than impressed. I was impressed when this came. I was expecting it to be some sort of cheapo, um, lightweight, like styrofoam foam thing, but this is heavy and it's so cute. So we have this gargoyle cat. I'm gonna decorate it in my UI here just for the fun of it because it's Halloween. It has, just FYI, it has, yes, it's made in China, but it's got four little uh, foam, stickers, pegs at the bottom. You can't really see it on camera, but that way you can set on a surface gently. And I am very happy with it. And my son absolutely loves it. He passes by it by the door where it stands uh, and nosy nosies it with his nose because he loves it. Anyways, that was just a, a total commercial for something. <laughs> no, I was just really, really excited for it. We are going to get into playing Hugo's Haunted House as I'm calling it. And it is a text-based classic adventure. Now, when I first turned this on just to see what would happen, F1 um, explains what all the buttons are up here. But this, I got this game from goodoldgames.com, so GOG.com. I got it for like $1.50 when it was on sale. All right, we have a very slow cursor here. How much of this do I remember from the game? Oh my goodness, fence. It's a solid looking wooden fence. This looks like updated text to me. Tree. An oak tree, I think. So this is Hugo. It is you, the hero. Pumpkin. So clicking on the location has Hugo going to that spot. There appears to be something inside it. All right, so here's where the text, I'm gonna see if I can't type around my son here, Benjamin. Uh, look, pumpkin. Yeah, there appears to be something inside it, okay. Um, reach in pumpkin. How many words can I use? Ha, huh. well that doesn't count. Okay, this is the first challenge, figuring out what the command is. Um, open pumpkin. You grasp the pumpkin and try to prize it apart. Prize it apart. The pumpkin breaks open to reveal a key. <gasps> Look, key. Looks like a front door key to me. Get key. Picked up the key, okay. <laughs> okay, so we can see our inventory by pressing F6. <gasps> I don't remember ever seeing this. This was, I don't remember ever this, this option ever being a thing. Okay, I can use, oh, that's right. Using the arrow keys, I have to double tap to stop. Or use the cursor to get him there. Okay, why not try opening it? Okay, door, open door. You unlock the door of the key, great. Huh? who's that? Uh. An interesting guy over there. Oh my goodness, I remember this room. Picture. I'd rather not look at that. It's too scary. 
Yeah, no. Look. Picture. An exquisitely bad work of art. <gasps> a candle. A useful looking candle. Ooh. Take candle. Picked up the candle. Okay, let's take a look at this in our inventory. Terrific. Cupboard. Cupboard? Okay. I don't see anything much in here. Wait! There's a little pen knife lying in the dust on the floor, and next to it, a little silver whistle. You fetch them out. Do I? No, I don't. Oh, they're right here on the floor. See? Pen knife and whistle. Get whistle. Picked up the whistle. Okay. I wonder what the whistle is for. Okay. Pick. Oh, wait. No, let's get pen knife. Picked up the pen knife. Okay. All right, you guys, tell me, have you ever been inside a haunted house before? Maybe a haunted corn maze? I don't remember which way is the correct way to go because there are five places to go. Can we look at the painting here? Look, wall. You see nothing very interesting about it. Look, painting. That too was a bad work of art, okay. Ah, oh, I love this. So classic. Okay, I, I'm just, before I go through a door, I'm gonna save my game. How do I save it? F4. <gasps> I don't remember this UI. This looks new. I don't remember ever being able to, being able to save my game. Okay, um, I don't know, Halloween cat, whoop, Halloween cat, no, let's call it gargoyle cat, not that it matters, open door, <gasps> oh wow, open wardrobe, A mask. It appears to be a Halloween mask looking somewhat like a grotesque monkey's head. Get mask. Picked up the mask. Okay. Oh, it's also called, called a closet. You get down on your hands and knees and peer under the bed to find absolutely nothing. Lay down. Eh? Sleep. Eh? <laughs> Look, window. It's pretty dark out there. You can just make out the outline of a shed below in amongst some trees. Okay. Look, room. You are in one of the upstairs bedrooms. There doesn't appear to be much of any interest at all in here. Okay. Look at this. My back side looks the same as my front side if I look at back and back. Oh, goodness. I'm kind of stuck back here. Uh-oh. Am I stuck stuck? Can you exit? I don't know how to get there. <gasps> close door. There aren't any. Close closet? I'm not close enough. Oh, no. This is very familiar. I think I remember this being a problem. I'm not close enough. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to get there. I don't know how to get there. Oh no. Oh, that is so tight. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, 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 stop, stop. Let's save game. Okay. Open door. What's behind door number? Oh, what do you know? A bathroom. Look, bathroom. The tub hasn't been used in ages. Okay. Look, tub. Okay. Look, toilet. I'd rather not, thanks. <laughs> Use toilet? I don't fully understand. Oh, come on. Look, sink. You see nothing very interesting about it. Look, mirror. <gasps> there appears to be something daubed in the mirror in red. It looks like the number 333. Three, three. 
3333. This is so cool. It's so nostalgic. I love it. Ah. Okay, guys, comment in the comment section below. Uh, what is your favorite scary game? Any of them. There's so many to choose from. Look window. It's pretty dark out there. Okay, we've read that before. Doesn't look like anything else of interest in the bathroom. Let's go where the mad doctor went. The high frequency cosmic radiation emanating from this room knocks your mask onto the floor. You can pick it up again when you come out. Okay. <gasps> the mad professor speaks. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over the house for you. Look, you're late and we haven't much time. Step into the box and we'll begin the experiment. The professor beckons you to step into the large cubicle in the center of the room. Ah, uh, no thanks. No thank you. Table, ooh. I don't know how to get there. Okay. Look table. The only thing you recognize is a useful looking rubber bung. Like for plugging a sink or something. Get bung. I'm not close enough, what? That's right, we have to have the door shut or something. Okay, what's gonna... Good, says the professor. Okay, Igor, press the blue button. Igor grumbles something incoherent and deftly presses the red button. You idiot, Igor, Ro roars the professor. That's all I need, a colorblind imbecile for an assistant. Oh dear, I've got my headache coming on again. I've had enough hassle for one day. I'm going to have to lie down. The professor storms off, leaving you alone with Igor. Am I smaller? Look how little I am. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I can go behind the door. Look at this. Um, get bung. Picked up the bung. Okay. Machine. You see lots of buttons and dials and flashing lights. Please don't ask me how to try and figure it out. He has a certain charm, I suppose. Cubicle. Get in the cubicle, bud. It's just an empty box. What's to be scared of? Tell Igor, press blue button. Igor definitely presses the yellow button. Oh, what is that gonna do? I look normal. Oh, look how cattywampus I am. Look at this. I'm spinning in circles. Woo! That's not disorienting at all. Wonderful. Tell Igor, press blue button. He presses the green button. Oh my gosh. I have holes. I have pixels. I have a pixel problem. Look at that. Oh, that would be a, that would be an actual illness in this, what is this, 8-bit, 32-bit 30, land? A pixel problem. Oh, tell Igor, press blue button. He definitely presses the blue button. Am I normal? I guess. Look, room. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. So, what have we done here? We've gotten the bung. Get mask. Let's take a look at our inventory now, shall we? What is inventory? It is F6. That's a bung. Okay. Mask, whistle, pen knife, candle, key. Great. Let's save our game real quick. You can breathe, right? Yeah, okay. All right. Now we're going down to the other rooms. One of these was bad. I remember there was a dog in one room and uh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Uh, I think this is the part where I need to put on mask. 
or wear a mask. Look at me, a monkey head. Yes. A feast is in full swing here in the dining room. Some of the guests look rather ugly. Something tells me this is not a good place to be unless, of course, you want to end up on the dinner plate. Okay, before I unpause the game, I remember as a kid, if I step in between one of the chairs and the butler comes walking behind me, he can totally trap me and I cannot get out. It's like, I don't know, a, a game glitch or something. Look, yes. Just your regular old monster type. Okay. Look, table. It's some kind of spread. I don't know whether I want to taste any of it though. Um. Care for a chop, sir? <gasps> we have options. Yes, please. Very good, sir. Enjoy. The butler hands you a juicy looking chop. You take it from him with a polite thank you. Hood. It's the fiendish friar of Frankfurt. Gwendolyn. It's Gwendolyn, the mad professor's daughter. Dracula. Count Dracula. Wonder what he's drinking. Frankie. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster. Nice suit and tie. Slime. Oh, you have to walk all the way around. Let's look at pea head. This monster has a head the size and color of a pea. So let's look at, why do I have to walk all the way around that ways? The monster is called Sly. <laughs> let's look at the window here. You choose an interesting path, Hugo. Interesting indeed. Apart from the moon, there's not, not much to see. Pot plant. It's pretty, but useless. Picture. It is Zelda, Wicked Witch of the West. Cupboard. You see nothing very interesting about it. Okay. Uh, if I remember well, if I go through this door, because we came in through this door right here. If we go through this door... Oh dear. Oh, okay. I thought I lost something for a moment. If I go through this door, a dog is going to come right at us. And if we mess up, we will lose the game. You have to type fast the command of choice to throw the chop for the dog. Now, I'm going to save my game beforehand, but I want to fail and see what happens because I want to remember and relive that moment. So, here we go. <sighs> save game. I'm liking the save game option. I haven't tried loading it, so I don't know how safe it is to do so. Oh, it's the kitchen! <gasps> I forgot about the green kitchen. Look, room. From the looks of it, this is the kitchen. You can hear the sounds of a feast or something going on in the room to the right. Okay, so if I come through this door right here, yeah, that's the kitchen. Okay, that's the door there. Broom. A pretty ordinary looking broom. Ooh, cupboard. Peering inside, you find nothing to write home about. Window. It's pretty dark out there. Okay, the shed. Okay, gotcha. Cupboard, exit, exit. Maybe the dog is through here. That's where I'm thinking. Uh, I'm just gonna be paranoid and save my game because I think this is, leads to the shed outside. Okay, here we go. There's the doggy. Um, did something happen? Oh dear, it seems the nice doggy has eaten you all up. You'll never get to rescue Penelope this way. Wait, Pen oh, that's right. That's our mission, is to find Penelope. This information was not presented to me at the beginning of the game. Okay. 
<gasps> what happens now? Oh dear. How do I restore game? F5, okay. Awesome, okay. Yeah. So what was in that room? Just a, a mouse hole or something. So, okay. Throw the chop. Okay. That seems to have caught the dog's attention. It looks like he's going to be rather busy for a while. Look, room. This is a pretty empty looking room adjoining the kitchen. The only thing of any interest that immediately catches your eye is the rather large and ugly looking dog. You can also see a juicy chop. Look, rug. The carpet near the door looks a little uneven. Um, I think this is where a hidden trap door is and I wonder if I can take the chop and come back later because I have, ooh, mouse hole. I thought there was like a trap door underneath the rug. You rummage around the hole and feel something soft and slightly moist. Phew. A medium sized pile of mouse droppings. Ew. Lift. Rug. I'm not close enough. Oh, whatever. Lift. Rug. Look what you found, a trap door. Okay, open door. Open trap door. The trap door appears to be bolted shut. Oh dear, what do I have in my inventory again? A pen knife. A whistle. A mask, a bung. Pen knife, candle, pen knife. Maybe a pen knife, okay. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Um, use pen knife. Use pen knife on trap door. Ugh. Okay, I think we're supposed to go out to the shed first. Go around the doggy. I hope that chop will last him for our next visit. Um, tree, an oak tree, I think. Shed. Look at the pixel grass, so fabulous. It probably warrants further investigation inside. Door, why not try opening it? Sure, open door. The door appears to be locked with a combination lock. What's the combination? It's probably three, three, three. Bingo, the door opens. Oh, wow, look at this. I can't really like see the room. Look, shed. The shed seems to have fallen into disuse and is pretty much full of garbage, either broken or rusted to pieces. You are just on the point of leaving when you notice an oil can sitting on a shelf. You pick up the oil can. Great, do I really have it though? I do, it's a little, yeah, it looks like an oil lamp. Uh, oil can, okay. What's the bung for? Oh, I remember. Wow, how many decades ago? It must have been at least two decades since I've played this, at least. Wait, let's look yard. You're behind the house now in what appears to be a small fenced in yard. To the rear of the garden is a little shed. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna save my game in a new slot in case I really screwed up. Save! Okay, um, I'm gonna get prepare, be prepared to use whistle. Oh no, I did mess up. The chop is no good. So I have to not even enter this room. Okay, let's try it again. F5. 
Okay, let's go out this way first. Let's go to the door here. You know, I wouldn't blame the dog for attacking me. I've got this weird looking monkey mask on. Okay, do I still have the chop though? I do. Good thing I saved it where I did. Combination is three, three, three. Look, shed. Get the oil can. We've got the oil can, right? Yup. Okay, it's taking off the mask. I look ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna get ready to throw the chop. Okay, I'm gonna, you know what? I was not very good at typing when I was a kid. So, thankfully with this game, you can get the words ready and then hit enter once you enter the, um, enter the room. And boom. There you go. Awesome. Look room. Um, look rug. Lift rug. Open trap door. I'm not close enough. What? Open trap door. Uh, use oil can on trap. Door. Seriously. Use oil. Can. Use. Maybe I had a typo. Trap door. Look. Trap door. Open. <laughs> Unbolt. Gotta specify trap door. Trap door. Please say undo bolt. Okay, fine. <laughs> undo bolt. Despite your best efforts to, the bolt refuses to budge. Oil bolt. You put a few drops of oil on the rusty bolt. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, unbolt trap door. Undo bolt, oh my gosh. Undo bolt. With a mighty effort, you managed to slide the bolt open. Okay, for the hundredth time. Open, trap, door. You casually throw the mask away since you won't be needing it anymore. Okay, sure. <gasps> oh, save the game, save the game, save. <laughs> Gargoyle cat. Rock. Isn't that fascinating? You examine every rock in minutest detail and come up with zilch. Look, room. You are below the house now. The walls appear to be partly hewn out of rock. To the right of the basement is a large, extremely heavy looking door. You can hear the muffled sounds of someone sobbing. Door. Go to the door. Looking through the door, you can make out your beloved Penelope's tear-streaked face. Okay, let's open the door. Are you kidding? Well, I suppose you had to try. <laughs> Needless to say, the door is locked. Um, use pen knife. Use pen knife on door. Uh, what's in my inventory? Bung, oil can. <gasps> Would that key work? I don't, is there a keyhole? You know what? La, look, door. Uh, call Penelope. Penelope. Penelope, alas, can't speak since she is gagged. Um, open door. No, that's right. Um, unlock door. Well, for a start, there's no keyhole, and secondly, no bolts either. That's right. I remember. You 
go this way. It's between the rocks. <gasps> oh, I remember this too. Oh dear, you seem to have wandered a bit too close to one of the vampire bats. Looks like it's curtains for you. Now you'll never be able to rescue Penelope. Gotcha. Okay, so we need to restore a game where we just had it. You're supposed to type use whistle, not whistle. Okay, restore game. Here we go. Five. Okay, we'll go up to the door. All right, so we've identified Penelope. I'm going to type in use whistle before we go between the rocks. Are you kidding me? How do we use the whistle then? If use whistle and whistle doesn't count for anything. Hmm. Use whistle on bats? do this. Let's try this again. Mm, buddy, you're collecting hair. Okay, let's try this again. Whistle. Oh, did I spell that wrong? Whistle. That's how you spell whistle, right? On bats. Why don't you understand? Blow whistle. <gasps> oh dear, okay. We will try blow whistle. Um. Hang on, buddy. You blow the whistle. Hmm, that seems to have had a strange effect on the bats. Leave me alone. Hey, what do you know? You appear to have confused the bat's sense of direction. It must be something to do with their sonar lack hearing. Look, room. You are in a cave full of bats. Let's not get in. Let's not go through here. <gasps> oh, oh, how do I get the mummy? Ah, ah, ah. I'm supposed to get him trapped. Oh, how careless. You seem to have landed yourself in the clutches of the evil mummy. Well, since it's curtains for you, you'll never be able to rescue your sweetheart. So I remember you're supposed to get him trapped behind the rock. All right, we'll get this. We will. Um, unless there's a trick to use. Oh, okay. Restore game is this one. I'm gonna save my game in case I mess up right here. Save it here. Uh, save game is F4. Okay, so blow whistle. Wait, wait, what's my inventory again? Would any of my inventory items help? Candle, pen knife, whistle, oil can, bung. I don't see how any of these, except for the candle, could burn him, but it's tiny flame. Okay, blow whistle, here we go. You blow the whistle. Yay! Okay, can I save my game right here? 
let's save it in our backup slot. How about that? Yep. Okay, come over here, buddy. Oh, he's kind of stuck there. Look, broom. A bag of gold. Get gold. Try walking there, okay. Get gold. Picked up the gold, okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, we did it. I don't think I've ever been able to get the gold before. I never had the courage to stop and actually do that. <laughs> Victory for me. Where the heck am I? I'm going to save my game because that is a wise thing to do at this point. Okay. Old man. A boat. Look, cave. You are now in a large open cavern. There's a small underground lake here, at the far side of which is some sort of jetty and a very old-looking man who appears to be just sitting on the jetty, fishing. To the far right, at the back of the cavern, you can see a tunnel. I don't know how to get there. Okay. Boat. Rope. It looks like a serviceable boat. I wonder whether it would get you to the other side. Look. Boat. Um, look, rope. Okay, get in boat. I'm afraid the boat has a hole in the bottom. Unless you can plug it with something, this boat will surely sink before you get to the other shore. Use bung on boat. Use bung. Plug hole. Plug hole in boat. Use bung to, oops, plug hole. The boat is now watertight. Yes. Get in boat. You clamber into the boat. Get rope. Uh, use rope. How do you, what's the proper adjective for the rope? Release rope. Mm. Untie rope? The rope is knotted too tightly and you are, alas, unable to, to untie it despite your best efforts. What? Oh, use the pen knife. Use pen Knife on rope. Um, cut rope. You cut the rope with your knife. The boat is now floating free. Uh, can we sail to the old man? Um, use boat. Paddle across lake. You'd be a lot better off in the boat, my friend. Um, push off shore. There we go. Oh, I have a cat. Um, so we just let him float around. I'm not controlling this, by the way. Hello, sir. Talk to old man. The old man seems about to speak. Ah, uh, welcome to my lake, my fine young friend. I have been waiting for you. I am well aware of your quest, and I would hasten you on your way. However, before I let you pass, I must satisfy myself that you have the experience to handle the dangers that look through yonder passage. I have a cat right here. Right here on my chair. Look at this. Look at this, Henry. Oh, yes. Oh, the loves. The kitty loves. The kitty cat loves. Kitty cat loves kitty cam. Yes, hello. Yeah, don't push any of my screen buttons, okay? Yes, you must be loved. I know, I know. Okay. To this end, don't knock over my light. Go on, go on. You're poofing everywhere. 
to this end, you will permit me to test your metal with a few questions, the answers to which would come readily to the lips of any seasoned adventurer. Be warned, however, that I can only accept your first answer. The old man clears his throat and asks, Oh my gosh. What was the first name of the hero in The Hobbit? How are we supposed to know this? The game doesn't provide this. Aw, oh, Ben. Henry, get off. Come on. Come on. Can you get off the chair? Get off. Go on. Get off the chair. Thank you. Bilbo. Will it accept the full name? Bilbo Baggins. Correct. And the next question is, where did Aslan live? Hint, not in a wardrobe. This is the Narnia, the Chronicles of Narnia. Aslan live... Narnia. Correct. And the next question is, who invented Count Dracula? Uh, is it Bram or Brom? Please let it be Bram. Incorrect. Um, talk to old man. Oh, good. We have a second chance. I guess it's Brom. Okay. Uh, Bilbo Baggins. Uh, Narnia. Oops, spell it correctly. It's Brom Stoker. Did I do that wrong? Okay, I'm gonna use my technology here. And look up Dracula. <sighs> Did I get the, um, author incorrect? Uh, Count Dracula. Oops. <clears throat> Not Count Chocula. Oh, I want that now. Author. Oh, there's no C in Stoker. That was my problem. Okay, let's try it again. Talk to old man. Okay. Bilbo Baggins. Narnia. Bram. Stoker, not stalker. Yay! Okay, what should you do to with a pan galactic gargle blaster? Wait a minute. Who made this game? Because this sounds like an item from a previous game. Write it, fire it, drink it, run away from it. A gargle blaster sounds like something you would fire. You know, a blaster. Uh, I'm gonna guess B, fire it. No. Um, I'm gonna guess run away from it. D. Really? Um. Let's try, let's spell it out. Fire it. Please, please, please. Ah. Okay, let's try run away from it. Run away from it. Drink it? Drink it. Write it. Fire it. Let's just go down the line. A. Write it. B. Fire it. C. Drink it. <gasps> What's the name of the only mammal that can't fly, that can fly? Is it a penguin? Please be a penguin. No. I didn't realize how many questions are involved here. So let's go with the... Oh my goodness, it's man. Nearly there, just two more to go. What is the name of Roy Rogers' dog? I didn't know this one, so I, I, I'm glad I looked this up. It's Bullet. And lastly, are you sure you want to rescue Penelope? Wait a minute. Question 7 on this walkthrough for game, GamerWalkthroughs.com. It says, question 7 is actually, did you register this shareware? shareware? 
This isn't the same question. I just want to say yes. Wonderful. Thou art truly a noble and wise adventure. Go in peace, my friend, and good luck in thy mission. Yes. Ah. Exit boat. Uh, leave boat. Get out of boat. Okay, save game, save game, save game. Yes. Okay, please don't let there be something that's gonna chase me in this next room. <gasps> what the what? Is that a sumo guy? Look, room. You have arrived in a passage with a room at the end. There is a large guard at the end who appears to be standing outside a kind of jail. Wait. Behind the guard, you can make out a familiar shape. Yes, it's Penelope being held prisoner. Talk to guard. You ought to be aware that talking to oneself is the first sign of madness. Oh, did I spell guard wrong? Talk to man. The guard ignores your attempts at conversation and remains inscrutable. What's in my inventory? <gasps> Offer the treasure. Offer gold. Okay. Offer gold. You hand over one coin from your little bag of golden coins. He makes a gruff noise, which you assume was a thank you, and steps aside, allowing you to pass. Nearly there, Hugo. <gasps> Why? Is he, like, dancing? I can't move. Congratulations. You are so glad to have rescued Penelope. You dance for joy. <laughs> After cutting her ropes with your penknife, you open the bolts of the jail door and find yourself back in the basement. From here, you trip hand in hand up the basement stairs past the ferocious doggy, through the kitchen, and out the front door to freedom, and live happily ever after. I like how she's a silhouette. Oh my gosh, look at this. Kissy kissy. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Wait, how come I only have a score of 198 of 200? How do I get the last two points? Hugo's Horrific Adventure, copyright 1989 to 1997. Well, the game just quits right there. Okay, then. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and thank you for traveling with me down memory lane for this nostalgic game, Hugo's uh, Haunted House. Hugo's Horrific Adventure, I should say. I guess I'll be playing the other... I guess it's a trilogy, so I should probably try playing the other two games. But if you haven't decorated your house with a cat gargoyle, I highly recommend it. This is super cool. Anyways, you can also get the game on goodoldgames.com. I will see you in the next video. Bye.